You are doing very good, little dice. I know it's hard to talk about it, but you're safe now. Yes, but it's still scary to remember sometimes. I know. You're being a very brave boy. Well, I... I don't remember how long I was with Forkington. It felt like forever. But when I got my chance, I tried running away. Dice! Whoa, excuse us! Hey, wait, isn't that King Dice? Yeah, I read in the papers that he was punished by regression and was assigned to Forkington. Looks like he's up to his old tricks again. Come on, Muggs, we got a naughty dice to catch. Stop! Come back here, you dice brat! Come on, please! You're just making things worse for yourself! Blow it out, your straw, cut face! Ah! Hong Kong! You alright, Dice? What were you thinking running out into the road, idiot? Did they downsize your brain when they shrunk you up? Shut up! I didn't see the car, okay? Um, Dice? Are, are you okay? I know it's probably an adjustment for you living with Forkington, but... Is he... Um... There you are! My poor little dice! I was so worried! It was so very naughty of you to wander off like that! I would be remiss in my duty as your guardian not to properly punish you! For a criminal like you, it is simply the only way you will learn. Ow! 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 You know you deserve this little dice! You are wicked! And you are a bother to Cuphead and Mugman, you filthy brat! Say it! I deserve this. I'm a wicked, filthy brat. Well, I best get the little criminal home. Thank you, boys, for finding him for me. Time to go home, Dice. Help, help me. Bravo! Get back here, you stupid cops! Oh, yes. I remember that day well. Hello. Yes, this is Elder Kettle. They what? Oh yeah, Elder Kettle's gonna love this. Don't cry, little dice. We're not gonna let you go back to Forkington. I know Elder Kettle will fix this. That's them, officer. They shot me, kidnapped my dice. I chased them halfway around the island before I lost them. Yeah, and they turned themselves into the police station and demanded a cell and a call to Elder Kettle. That's right. We know that you've been hurting little Dice. Dice may have made some bad choices and were for the devil, but you have no call to torture him like this. <gasps> How very dare of you! I opened my home to raise this filthy regressed criminal and I am accused of such atrocity! Officer, I'm afraid I am forced to press charges here. Yeah? Well, I have some charges too! Well, if it's charges you want to press, then you gotta put in the writing. Are you forking kidding me right now? I mean, fine. I will fill out the required forms. It will be worth it to see your smug face backhanded by the arm of justice. Boys, are you okay? What happened? Elder Kettle, Forkington has been hurting little dice. Lies, Elder Kettle, I was sure you raised these boys better. They kidnapped my property, and as you can see, they injured me. I demand you punish them, Elder Kettle. Beat the living daylights out of the two of them. There will be no beating today, Forkington. Now that I have heard from the boys and you, I wish to hear what little Dice has to say. That little criminal? You're gonna trust his word over mine? Forkington, if you treat someone like a criminal, then that is what they will become. That was not the point of the regression program. Now then, little one, let's have a talk. It's okay, little Dice. You can trust Elder Kettle. All right, let's have a look at you, little one. <laughs> Forkington, you're done. Effective immediately, you will never see or speak to little dice. What? You can't just do that! You have no right! Come here, little dice, you filthy liar! I do believe I just told you to never speak to little dice again. Officer, I am requesting an official investigation on the evidence here of abuse and neglect. Keep Forkington here until the judge is notified. I will start the paperwork. I think we both know the rest of the story from there. 
Yes, you took me away from Forkington, and I came to live here with you. Uh, Elder Kettle, what's the matter? The little dice have another nightmare? Did you wet the bed again, too? Cuphead? Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Well, I think we all need to get back to bed now. Can't I sleep in Mug's bed? I don't mind, Elder Kettle. Alright, but just for tonight. Remembering about my time with Forkington, I wonder whatever happened to him. It's probably best not to give him much thought. He can't bother you anymore. You just wait, little dice. This is far from over. To be continued. This is the end of chapter four of Inkwell Penny Hell. And what would, we'll let's have a recap. Forkington was abusive. Dice ran away. Well, I mean, this is his past life. Dice ran away and came to live with Elder Kettle. And it is getting even spicier. And I cannot wait to dub chapter five. And I guarantee you, you guys are in for a treat with the rest of these chapters. And I'm going to get right into dubbing it. And thank you guys for watching Chapter 4 of Inkwell Penny Hell by Arkham Insanity. Make sure you guys go check them out down in the description below. If you guys want to check out Inkwell Penny Hell for yourselves, it is down there. Check out Arkham Insanity's DeviantArt page as well. Also, make sure to check out the rest of my comic dubs here on screen. And while you're doing that, why not consider becoming a patron of my new Patreon, where you can donate to me and help me make good content like this and maybe even better content. And with that being said, guys, I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in every single day. I'm going to see you guys later for Chapter 5 of Inkwell Penny Hell. Pokey Tom is out. Stay awesome, guys.